Look now at the second test match at Lords, where you have the privilege of leading out the New Zealand team. Strike. He's a very strong player. And he made one when he faced that ball. That's a better shot, if anything. It wasn't all that short. And I suspect it may have been the top spinner as well. This. this is good fun. Not for glads and small, I guess, but uh, certainly in the commentary box and sitting around the ground, there's plenty to enjoy. That's a cracking shot. Lovely shot off the back foot. No need to chase it. In the slightest amount of room, and he'll make a little bit more for himself. The crowd love it. No need for anybody to move for that. Certainly not Hadley. Four more. It is exactly the sort of innings that John Wright wanted. And New Zealand, what they think of it, and the crowd. And the splendid innings in what's probably his last appearance with a bat on this ground. To Richard Hadley on 50. A magnificent stroke off the back foot. He really does give that ball some stick. And that's tucked away again. Tucked one bounce for four. One of a natural eye. It was very short, but it did bounce a bit. It's in the gap. It's in the gap, it's just a flick. What timing! A crippling bit of fielding, that. It, it middled him on the shins. It still went for four. It was only the sprint by Devon Malcolm got the blood going again. Uh, Gooch has a chase there, even though Hadley didn't quite get that off the meat of the bat. It has gone away at a terrific rate up the hill. Hadley goes. To 81, New Zealand go to 402. This afternoon's entertainment has been magnificent. That's beaten Devon Malcolm. That's a beautiful shot by Richard Hadley.
be disappointed with that, but I had the feeling that he had set himself in this game just after he'd been knighted, and he'd motivated himself. If um, New Zealand couldn't win the game, that a century was there for the taking. So Eddie Hemmings deserves the wicket. He tried to get up, gave Hadley the chance to hit, and now a marvellous ovation for Richard Hadley.